Hi everybody, from the final day of the Silver Oak Jumper Tournament, the $75,000 Equestrian Estates Planning Group Grand Prix is history, and our winner is Paul O'Shea's second time. We've had a chance to talk to Paul this week. Wow, what a day for you, huh? I'm over the moon. Absolutely delighted. My, uh, my horse is fantastic. Yeah. Have you ever won a trophy this big? I don't think so. <laughs> this is quite huge. Talk about, uh, in the first round you had four faults, yeah. but then came back and clean and fast in the jump off. Talk about that format. Um, we have that format quite a bit in Ireland, and sometimes it's been to my advantage and sometimes not. Um, today it worked out to my advantage, and I'm very happy about that. We talked about a different horse on Thursday when you won the welcome stake. Tell us about your winner today. Uh, so I've been saving pre motor of for this class. Um, I, I jumped the 120 class the first day just to let him see the ring. But I was saving him for this class. Uh, the last time he jumped was Lake Placid and he won, he won a Grand Prix there. And before that he jumped, uh, he won a Grand Prix uh, in um, Wellington at the Spring Tour. So he's won three now in for, for three months. So, um, what can I say? He's just been brilliant. How, uh, how nice is that when you plan to, to win a class and set it up that way and it comes through like that? Yeah, I mean, you have to, you know, it's been, uh, I had this class in mind and uh, it just it came off and then um, I'm over the moon with it. it uh, his owner, Michael Hayden, isn't here today, which is a pity that he missed him, but, um, uh, you know, maybe he'll be out next week. Good. Well, you had a great show. Uh, talk once again just a little bit about this facility and about this horse show. I know you love it here. I absolutely love it. What can I say? The ground was fantastic. Um, the horses loved it. Uh, I think Olaf did a super job with the, the building. Uh, there was a huge crowd here today. Um, Jeff did a fantastic job organizing everything. I mean, they had uh, lunch for us. They had, you know, and uh, for the horses, uh, they they loved it here too. They they had a stall and a half uh, per horse, so they had huge stalls, and um, there was African cars from there. So I think the horses really were really comfortable here. It's been a fabulous day. It's been a fabulous five days here. Uh, we're going to take a look now at uh, Paul's ride in today's Grand Prix. So Paul, we're going to get a chance to look at the first round course. Let's talk about it. It turned out to be a pretty tough course, huh? Yeah, it, it was tough. The treble at the end um, came down a lot, okay. but it was a lovely track. It was very fair. Okay, so here we go. This is going to be the first round course, folks. He won it the jump off, but since uh, the first round course was so tough, we thought we'd give you a look at it. Um, I really tried to, because I was first to go, I was very aware of the time, so I really tried to turn tight to, to save as much time as possible. Um, this is the three to four A's, just a normal, uh, normal six strides up the hill, fairly straightforward. And uh, uh, the next fence is a vertical before the water, it was seven strides, a little bit quiet here, turned quite tight to that just to save some time. And your horse is an experienced water jumper? Uh, he is. Yeah, yeah, so no problem there. No problem there. And then a short six to a vertical. Important uh, to get him back for that, right? Get him back early so I can be soft at the end. Okay. Here I turned inside to a skinny oxer up the hill. Um, and that, that actually, that fence can fall quite a bit. I think you have to ride it like it's a wide oxer. Uh -huh. And then quite tight back here to a triple bar. Very straightforward. Big triple bar, but... Yeah. Uh, and then a nice nine strides down to a vertical. And then we're going to turn the corner to what turned out to be the real problem spot on yeah, the course. The, the, the trouble. I think I was a little bit far off going in, and then I used too much hand to support him. Um, I should have kept my hand a little bit softer. And he just just went, touched it. Just yeah. touched it behind. And then a very short five strides here to a, a tall vertical. And then here I turned back quite tight. This was a big enough oxer. This, this fell quite a bit. Um, and then home. But a four fault round and then a clean round and the jump off wins it all for you. 